Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4 Old World Blues playing as Provisional Republic of Texas. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I forgot to hit the record footage button when I started this episode, so we've jumped forward a little bit in time. You haven't missed much. I set up some resistance contacts over here, which is doing nothing. Lanius has the war goal. It's not attacking me right now, though. He's just sort of sitting there staring at me, menacingly. Uh, we did fight the last resort. But guess what happened? They had been at war against the Chained Choir for so long that the Chained Choir had, like, a ton of war score and took everything before I could get anything, so it was an absolute waste of my time. So here we are, you know, just sitting around, staring at each other with really no idea what to do. I am getting a war goal currently against uh, Chickasaw over here in the Scrapper's Compact, which, hey, is fun. But if Lanius isn't going to have the guts to attack me, then I should probably just go ahead and attack him. I did also finish up the rest of the National Focus Tree. So we finished getting deputies for deputies for deputies, which has given me loads more manpower to work with. We finished up all of these, so that's a fun deal. We've got infrastructure out the wazoo, thanks to our vent 10, like, all over the place. And we're finishing up the last of our bunkers and other repair jobs. Like, we're looking real stinking good right about now. We're looking real good. Oh, good. Look who is attacking somebody. Who's stronger? Am I wasting my time with an intelligence thing? I would think that, I would think that maybe the Scrapper's Compact can win. But we'll see what happens. I really hope that I'm not proven wrong and that these guys die and all of a sudden I'm wasting my time justifying war goals. Oh, uh, that would be very, very, very frustrating to me. Undesirables. We could have some more recruitable population if we wanted to do that. Don't really care. Um, I don't really care about special forces. None of that matters. Mercenary trainings could go for veterans. Does give me a bit more organization. I think I'll go ahead and work on that. It also reduces the time to justify another conflict. I suppose. Oh yeah, and we finished training up a load more troops. This guy's now fulled out. So a whole new bunch of troops are sitting right here. We're training up a handful more in the form of some more um, power armor as well as motorized and uh, lock keepers to just kind of finish up another group. And that'll be seven full armies ready to go. The free fighters are fighting against Gentel del Sol up over here. Hello. Okay, they are a part of Kaisar's Legion, which means now there's a good chance the Free Fighters are going to get murdered by the Kaisar, which actually does have implications for my defense down here, so I'm not thrilled, but okay. We'll go ahead and just start building some more bunkers down here, because really, who the heck knows what's going to come out of that arrangement. I might need to send some more troops down over here in the future. Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out eventually, I'm sure. But yeah, now we're just sort of sitting back and staring at each other. It's a great position to be in, honestly. I love it. I love being in this position so much. Woo. New Reno just finished off the Troll Warrens? Wow. I don't remember the last time I saw Mr. Bishop actually get pretty strong in New Reno, but there he is doing his thing. Dang. The 80s are looking pretty good, too. Something's been rebalanced in this region. It certainly seems like some factions are stronger than they used to be. That's for dang sure. NCR! Do something! Come on! Move! Actually, they're, wait, they're getting down over here. Beacon of Democracy, blah, 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 California League. They're still working down a rather long and tedious uh, national focus tree. It may be a while still. With any luck, the Kaisar does something. The Burned Man? I don't remember what this one does. You've also got a really large national focus tree. I forgot about that. Oh, my God. Ah, what is it like to have so much stuff to do? I wouldn't know. We captured somebody from somewhere. Where are you from? Militus Alto. I don't know who the heck you are. Ah, whatever. Somebody was spying on me, and I don't appreciate it at all. Hey, look, more troops. Great. I got a bunch of robots. Uh, I think I was setting up a whole new random army. Robots train shockingly quickly, which is something I really wasn't expecting, but they do. So that's great. Are there any other field marshals I could make use of? Surprisingly, it appears yes. We have a few. Uh, well, I don't know yet. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Um, let's go ahead and put... I don't know. Henry Kimball in charge. And can I move, let's say, you in charge? Yes, we'll do that. And then I'll give you a new general instead. We'll go for... Um, I thought we already had you. It just appears to be a clone. Well, we'll go for you then. There we go. All right. More armies, more generals, more everythings. Well, that finishes off all the decryption we're able to do. What do we got? 371 days left. Oh my god. I mean, it's something, right? Let's go into an Air Force Department. I'd like to learn a little bit more about what's going on. What's our intelligence tell you? We you have 55 units. 
Yeah, now I understand why you're not attacking me. Most of them are of infantry templates as well. You got some special forces, you got some cohort, like, motorized, but it's it's really very little. Um, chems, demolitions, anti-tank. Okay, so you do have anti-tank, so I know that power armor is not quite as effective, but overall, not a big deal. You got some ships, mostly irrelevant. You got a handful of gliders, it sounds like, but I don't have an air department yet, so I'm not going to have the best uh, information there still. Oh, hello. These guys are actually making progress against a chain choir. Well, if we're very lucky... I mean, very lucky. These guys will actually finish off a chain choir so I can eat all of them in one war. Although, at this point, I have no idea. Maybe that'll happen, maybe it won't. Hodos! In the meantime, I'm just still trying to upgrade the government where I can. Um, major business vehicle designer, you know, that'll probably be a good thing to get. Tank, snack, car manufacturer. Faster? Sure, let's go for even faster motorized. That's probably great for me. Okay, we have our war goal. It's gonna last until December 4th. You know what? Considering it looks like you guys were able to break through and do some serious damage, I'm gonna give you guys a chance to go and finish these guys off. If you can do that, I will happily eat the rest of you. So we'll wait. And even if I have to clear war on December 4th, I'll just sit there and stare and just watch you and encourage you. Go on to your thing, man. Go have fun. Kill them all. Kill all of them for me. In the meantime, honestly, I think we just go ahead and get our own claim going against these guys. Do I? Is that suicide? I'm just worried about fighting the Kaisar at the same time. That's all I'm worried about. Though to be frank, the Kaisar is not exactly exactly helping Gente del Sol right now. They're just kind of fighting on their own. So, I mean, maybe... I can definitely deal with Lanius on my own. What if we want to go fight someone else? What if we wanted to go fight these guys? Uh, they're not a part of any meaningful faction. What kind of intelligence we got on you? You got a lot of troops. A shocking amount of troops. Holy crap. Okay, you know what? I can't really justify going and fighting down over here if I have Lanius hovering over me at any time. So I think we're gonna go ahead and start justifying a war goal. If you're gonna be a coward who won't fight me, then I'll be the brave boy who goes and fights you. I feel like this is like the Patrick meme from SpongeBob where he's got the little rock in the race. He's like, it's okay, Scrapper's Compact. You go when you feel like it. Please hurry up. God. I feel like a lot of Texas is just sitting around and waiting for claims and stuff. On the plus side, I mean, look at the look at the freaking population I got to work with here. The deputies for deputies for deputies has resulted in me having like 52,000 manpower, which is kind of an absurd amount of manpower in this game. I could start fielding absolutely ludicrous numbers of troops if I so desire. Freaking heck, the Lord's Anointed are dead. Oh, that's that's sad for me, I guess. Um, just grab, grab Fort Supply. I know you're fighting down here. There's no good reason for it as far as I can tell. You must have nothing left, surely. Surely. Just get in there and kill him. <laughs> All right, let's see. Navy designer? No, aircraft company. Yeah, extra ground attack and agility. That seems good. Oh, they are fighting over in Fort Supply now. Please tell me you can win this, because I'm getting bored of waiting. Kaisar's Legion declares war on the NCR. Okay, that right there is what I've been waiting for. Okay, okay, okay. So now, while we are working on this goal against Lanius in 120 days and four months, I can go ahead and attack these guys. Now the Kaisar is distracted with a big boy over here. I just have to hope that the NCR is capable of holding out long enough to keep them super duper distracted. The Free Fighters, it looks like, are starting to die as well, by the way. That's probably not great for me, but alright. Um, let's see, we're watching out for some more spies and stuff. Uh, we'll go with some cryptology or something, I guess, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so this actually times out really well. Actually, if anything, I wish I had started the, uh, oh, they just won their war, perfect. I wish we had started the, uh, war against Lanius, or had started the justification a little bit sooner. That would have been... Better. Brain farted a little bit there. All right, some troops are ready to go. Charge! All of his troops are in the wrong position. Go, go, go! You guys go over here, and you guys all go to the corroded fields. If you guys can punch through this and get down to these war goals, he's dead. He's super dead. Some of you guys get over here as well. Let's attack from both directions. Two-pronged. Two-pronged attacks. Oh, he's walking over across the river thinking, this is gonna be easy. It's a trick. It's a trap. If you think that I'm letting you get away, you're wrong. Um, we're gonna need a lot more equipment, because I'm gonna start training an unbelievable number of troops in a little bit. Because we can. Honestly, at this point, I don't see any reason not to just go ahead and field loads and loads of troops. Kaiser's Legion declares its own war against Dinata, whoever the heck they are. I think that's, like, up over here. No, it's these guys over here. Oh, hello. What happened to the Cult of Diana? They're losing against the Foragers? I thought they had it for sure. Oh, okay. 
The Kaisar may be the leader of the faction, but he has absolutely no interest in helping his subjects. Is one thing I've learned about this guy. So, that's all your, like, core territory down, right? Yep, that's it. Alright, so you're dead. We didn't have to fight over any of this other stuff over here, because all we had to do was conquer the cores. Take states, done, finally. Okay. More manpower? Frick yeah, dude! Okay, so, stop with you. You're still fine where you are at the moment. You, I'm gonna send up over here, with the anticipation we'll want to attack up in the north. I'm a little concerned about how long these free fighters can hold out. If they can hold out long enough, these guys will ward off the Kaisar. These guys will ward off Gente del Sol and not let their legion in, while I take everybody I've got to go and beat the snot out of Lanius. I don't see any reason this can't work. It should work very well. Let's go ahead and start building the gas fields. You only got eight days left until we have shipping in the Gulf. By the way, I'm making like 3.43 political power per day. Which is pretty good. It's one of the reasons I'm starting to make some actual impacts in improving my government. Finally. Uh, a little bit more infantry equipment. Sure, that's fine. Uh, what do we need in order to build law keepers? We need anti-tanks, demolition, infantry equipment, support equipment. We got plenty of all the above. Plenty of all the above. I'm amazed we're going to be doing okay, despite the fact that we have literally not been able to research anything for years in this game. Literal years! I mean, everyone else should be, like, super far ahead of time in tech, but the fact of the matter is, Lanius' cohort and Kaiser's Legion, they're also stuck at tribal tech. I at least was able to get some advanced stuff before I formed our government. So, we're technologically ahead of them, despite the fact that I have such a weird disadvantage. Kind of funny, right? I think so. You know a feature I could really get behind in this game? Using spies to speed up your ability to justify war goals. That would be pretty nice, you know? Like, frame them for various different, like, border skirmishes and so on, or help steal documentation necessary, or whatever the heck else is going to be. That would be a use for my spies that I could actually legit get behind. I'd like to see that happen in the future sometime, but it might end up getting a little unbalanced and, over and uh, too powerful. I, I accept that as a possibility. I like to think it won't, but maybe. Hey, look, Lanius is pulling a lot of his troops off of the front line to go and fight with the Kaisar. The NCR is losing ground. Little concerned about that. NCR, you can't follow me now. Hold on. Hold on a little bit. The Kaisar usually ends up taking some land here until there's a nasty bottleneck around Dana Point. Uh, and also, there's this uh, little ravine they've got to pass through around the Mojave Outpost. So this is where things tend to get stuck, depending on what the NCR does. But if they get caught out properly, then ugh, they are going to be in for a rough time. I'd like to not have to worry about the full might of the Kaisar while I kill Lanius. Okay. That would just, that would not be good for anyone involved that is me. Wait, no. It'd be good for them. It'd be terrible for me. Oh, the ACR's in trouble. The NCR's in trouble. They just, they let the Kaisar through up here to the north. Oh, that's a mistake. Shady Sands could be in trouble. <laughs> oh, no. Kaisar's Legion might be a bit strong. This could be a problem. Okay, you know something? How about we forget this spy? This guy's doing me no good. Let's start spying on um, the Kaisar. I want to find out some specific intel on him. And then for you, uh, let's make sure you're swapped over to a quiet intel network. Why aren't you moving? Go here. There we go. Quiet, maintain it at 100%, but much less likely to get detected. So there we go. So we'll maintain our full uh, understanding of what's going on in, the, in uh, Lanius's cohort. We need to get some intelligence on Kaisar's legion. It's sure as heck looking to me like we're going to have to fight him. And that could be difficult. Kaisar's Legion declares war on New Vegas as well. Okay. Uh, that could mean they're just looking for new ways to get around the NCR usually, but they already have. So I think at this point they're just taking advantage of all the different war goals they've got. That's fine. How are we looking on Lanius? We are about 50 days out. Couple of months. Ugh, I'm worried here. Traders from the Southern Empires. This does mean no good. Trade deals could be fine. Sure, Art of Diplomacy. We'll spend a little bit of money to hopefully be able to get trade deals in the future. Maybe they buy things from me, and I get some more civilian factories to work with. I guess? I don't know. Fun fact, by the way, about the Texan government. Once I'm done doing all these different buildings in the oil fields and whatever else, we still have zero consumer goods. That means I got a full 238 civilian factories working over here. That is an absolutely ridiculous amount. We don't even have nearly as many um, arms workshops as I would have expected. Only 241 working for us. I guess it's not a lot to produce, because we're far ahead in everything we literally can build, but... 
Yeah, that's a weird position to be in economically. I'm pretty happy about it. Okay, we have our claim. Looks like the NCR was able to hold back just a bit. They managed to regain their footing. That's great. Lanius, you had the audacity to demand land from me. And then you have the audacity to justify world goals for even more stuff, and then you did nothing with it. You know why? Because you're a coward. That's why you're an absolute coward. So, now we are going to take the fight to you and say, freaking bugger off. All right, let's go. Die, 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 and die. Everyone push! Oh, ho, ho! Look at those green numbers everywhere. <gasps> Lanius is screwed, is what I'm seeing out of this. He didn't have nearly enough troops sitting on the front line. You got distracted by the Kaisar's stupid war. Oh, good, the Cult of Diana is here to fight me. Fine, don't even care. She's stuck working against the foragers. If she wants to pull back, she can die too. Kaisar! I'm coming for you! Just so you know, he's going for resistance suppression. Did you finish with your national focus tree too? Sure as heck feels like they spent a lot of time uh, working down their national focus tree before these two fight. It's not just me, right? The Kaisar and the NCR usually fight a lot sooner than this. I might be wrong. Uh, can we go for every cap for the army? Oh my god, we have so many factories over the Lanius cohort that we literally can't even move on to the next uh, economic law. Unless he wants to call in the Kaisar for me. Which we could start justifying and would take very little time. Not worried about doing that this second. I want to finish, I want to get closer to finishing Lanius off first. Then we have a chance to reorganize and say, screw it, I'm going for it. Definitely want to get that war goal going at some point, though. Ace pilot promoted, great. Picos colony, how long would it take for me to fabricate on you? Because I don't like that you're here. 80 days is not a very long time. Do I do it? It's probably better to be focusing on the Kaisar, right? Yeah, it's better to focus on the Kaisar. The Kaisar is the one who's really the threat at this point. So I have planes that should all be moving forward and traveling with my armies. I set these guys so I could stop and just forget about it. Because I often do literally forget about it, and I didn't want to make that mistake and get yelled at in the comment section this time around. So here we go. Come on, Kaisar. Don't be a little weenie. You get in here. Come on, jump into this fight. Don't leave Lanius to do all the work for you. You are an unworthy leader. That's what you are. Unworthy! The title of Kaisar. I think I'll take that for myself by the time that I'm done with this. Kaisar Rusk. Doesn't that sound exciting? I think it does. Are all my units still set to aggressive? I think they are. Oh, well, they probably shouldn't be, but alright, we'll just go ahead and let them go to aggressive. I mean, if they don't have enough troops to fill in the front line, which it looks like is exactly what's happening down here, then I don't see any reason not to. Hey, by the way, can we just get in here real quick and then just surround the rest of these guys? Because I don't see any reason why we can't. Where's all my motorized up over here, by the way? I don't know. Let's go down this direction as well. Nope. Look down here. I see one little guy trying to cross the river. The river is going to mess a lot of things up because front lines get completely screwy when that happens. But that's fine. I'm going to have you guys all push down this way. We'll have to reorganize a little bit, but I'd like to cut off a few units to make this a little easier. These guys seem to be doing their job. We're heading toward the Cult of Diana. They're not going to last too long, I am pretty sure. And sure enough, very soon we will have split all these forces away from Castra Sol Rubrum, which means there's not going to be any supply generation or a meaningful amount for the rest of the guys up here. So they're all going to die. A horrible, horrible death. Let's go ahead and just commit to that real quick. Actually, one of you guys, why don't you just go ahead and cross the street? Oh, wait, you can't. No, oh, well, pin this guy down so he can't stop me from crossing over here. Okay? Okay. So this is going to be real easy. Real easy. Let's see if we can send some guys to go and finish this guy off real quick, because I don't want to have to deal with it. You guys go ahead and push. You guys go ahead and push. No reason why we can't. Purple. Uh, you need a new front line, don't you? How about a front line right down over here? And your goal will be to push all the way up toward the capital. I'm going to go ahead and assign all of you down here now, actually. Why not? All right, go. There we go. Should be fine, should be fine. Okay, we're still making really good progress. Lanius was nowhere near ready for me. How do you like me now? You thought that I was going to be some sort of a pushover, didn't you? Didn't you? Don't lie to me. I know you were thinking it, but you were wrong. You were very wrong. Now you must die for your hubris. My understanding is that Lanius is actually a really cool character from the Fallout series too. So it kind of feels good to just get to beat on him a little bit and say, screw it, die, 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 you know? You need to actually sit tight. Don't don't lose don't lose any ground. Uh, we're gonna have to reorganize some troops and send them all up over here in a second. 
It actually would be smart to send a few reinforcements this way to make sure that I don't accidentally get myself killed. Can you guys please finish all of them off? Okay, so that's a lot of units that we're about to finish off over here. Kaisar's Legion just took some territory up over here. Okay. Not worried about what they just took up by the Cyphers. That's kind of irrelevant to me. You guys need to just go ahead and finish them all off. Don't, don't play with your food. Just kill them all. You go over here so we can make sure these guys get properly cut off. There we go. Okay. So, uh, you're going to go clear all this. And then you are going to turn around and fight. Perfect. Okay. So, if we can just finish these guys off real quick. Nice, small little pockets of troops that are all going to die. No meaningful amount of resources except from these cities. That's it. That's all you got going for you. I know it. You know it. It means you're dead. All right, hang on. So now we need to reorganize some guys over here, which I will happily do. Your offensive line is now basically to push over to the pass right along this way. And then this army needs to get set up over here as well, except your goal is also to push up toward the capital. Okay, so we'll do that. There we go, there we go. Okay, so with all these guys getting set up over here, this should be pretty easy. Nice, 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 nice. Um... So let's go ahead and start justifying a war goal against the Kaisar, because I don't think that he's got much of anything to do with me at this point. I think he's more or less given up and he's leaving Lanius to die. And I don't think it's going to take me much more than a month to um, get uh, Lanius' cohort to die, right? Lanius' cohort, it says right now, is only 40% of the way towards capitulation. But we're getting into his proper core territory right now. Every one of these victory points we take is going to be a huge mark off of him. And right now, I mean, look at it. We got... We're about to take all of it. He's got practically nothing over here to defend with. Hey, Cult of Diana. What up, girl? Can we get up over here and just take the Twin Mothers real quick? Eh, it looks like fighting over mountains is going to be a little unpleasant, but since she's kind of stuck here at the moment, if we can go around you, using my very superior motorized, maybe, just maybe, we can indeed finish you off. Uh, you guys are doing all right where you are, I suppose. You get up over here and just do a quick surround. Grab the Skinwalkers. See if we can get in here and stop these guys from retreating. It looks like the answer to that is no, but that's fine. We now apparently own this mountain range, which I find hilarious. Okay, good, good, good. Um, all of you, go ahead and attack here. Let's finish this last little guy off. No attack, I said. There we go. Finishing off, finishing off. All is well, all is well. Okay. So, Kaisar, what's up? Texas comes for you! Gotta wait about eh, three weeks-ish until we can go ahead and kill him. That's good. I can afford to wait three weeks. I can afford to sit around and wait for three weeks, that's fine, and by then I'm sure I'm going to be able to modify the government to have a better equipped army. Navy designer, seems worthless. Pre-war designs, robots, meh, don't see the point. Economic advisor, um, I don't really know, uh, how about, none of these seem very important to me. You know what, forget it, we're just going to save, we're just going to save, we're just going to save this. I got 90,000 manpower all of a sudden, what the crud is going on? My mobilization speed has taken a lot longer to catch up than I expected, but now that it's getting here, we're absolutely starting to dominate these fools. Okay, smokes. Can you guys get down over here? And you go clear this out. Nope, freaking get down here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. There you go. You get down this way. These guys are pretty much cut off. And then we should be able to finish them off going down this way. Okay, so this is all going to get taken care of. That's good. We do need to make sure we grab the pass, which we're doing now. So that's a major victory point source. Mine. Uh, I don't know why you guys aren't being as aggressive as I told you to. I mean, you're set to be aggressive, right? So shouldn't you be more aggressive than this? I'm just going to go ahead and sing my typical song. Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Oh, we got their capital down. That means Lannis is dead now, right? Nope, apparently not. He's got a little bit more going on up over there. That's fine. That's fine. We are almost ready to get in here to the Twin Mothers. The rest of you, go grab Bastion. You guys get up to Pueblo City. You all charge up through Castle Rock to Dog City. We got a bunch of unassigned units. Hello, whole new armies ready to go. You guys are all going to join up over there. And you are all going to join up over here. And that's a couple more armies ready to go for me. Good lord, we're sickeningly powerful now. I'm not even going to have enough generals for all this soon enough. Alright, well, what am I going to do with you guys? Uh-huh. Um, 
Send y'all over toward the Kaiser? Yeah, I think we send y'all over to the Kaiser. Where did I actually send... Oh, wait. No, hang on. Split. Some of you guys go here. There we go. You guys get up over here. There we go. Okay. Offensive line. Right along here. Purple. Offensive line. Right along here. Boom. Okay. Whole new armies. Ready to go. We are absolutely legionary at this point. It's kind of amazing, isn't it? Kind of amazing, isn't it? Really need to declare war against the Kaiser, though. I mean, we're going to get to do that. I would just like to finish some of these guys off before we finish off Lanius's cohort. Can you guys please get the freaking heck up here and get to the Temple of Diana? Finish him off. Can you guys please get through here and then circle around? What kind of freaking weird hats are you... What are you carrying? Do I even want to know what this is? Oh, that's a pipe. Okay. It's freaking weird. I was... You know what? No, you know what? I know what I was thinking it was for a second, and I'm just not going to say. Because y'all don't need to know. Strategic destruction tech, huh? Um, strategic destruction. This one right here? Ugh, all right. Let's just go ahead. We got nothing to do except for freaking um, air doctrines at this point, right? So might as well do it. Um, you guys all need to, need to stop, actually. Hold the phone. Don't take Dog City. Don't take Dog City. Give Lanius a second. Give Lanius a second. I want to make sure we get these guys to capitulate to me first. Okay? Kind of important so I can annex them. And then I want to make sure that we're ready to pull in the Kaiser. So give Lanius a second to kind of catch his breath. Just for a brief little moment. Just for a brief little moment. Gosh dang, can you guys just freaking die? You don't even have enough equipment. There goes Lanius' cohort. Never mind, it's too late. Oh, the Cult of Diana, we still get to eat everything. Okay. Take all states. Mine! And then, um, let's go ahead and start working our way up here to the north. I don't know who the for- No, wait, the forgers actually don't have anything. Oh, I thought they were gonna get some war score in this. Okay. Take states. Take states. Gosh dang it, it doesn't- Ah! The war peace time series system has always been kind of whack in this game. Always has been. Never fails to annoy me. There we go, end turn. Pass, 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 pass. Take all states. Okay. Mine! Boom! Look at all the freed manpower. That's a couple thousand more for me. Ha ha ha! Texas is looking a little spoopy all of a sudden, ain't it, Mr. Kaiser? Alright, let's go ahead and set up a few more troops off in this direction. Kaiser, he's doomed! Your eastern front has fallen, sir! There's nothing left for you. And you have nowhere near enough troops on your front line to defend against me. Nowhere near enough. You scooper duper screwed. I don't even know what to do with all these troops, to be honest. I'm going to send them all down here. I don't know yet. We're going to have to figure that out. Uh, Let's send some of y'all down. I don't know. What is this music? It's freaking upsetting is what it is. Holy crud. All right, and you guys um, get up over here. So is there anyone else in this faction up to the north that I need to worry about? Nope, the Kaisar's Legion doesn't have anybody over here, so that's good at least. Did I steal a whole load of factories? Oh, you bet I did. But not nearly as many as you might have expected. Not nearly as many as you might have expected. Uh, mutants. We could start allowing some ghouls to be brought in. That would reduce attrition and stuff. Um, would also reduce uh, organization. I don't see that as being a particularly great thing. Could also start working towards some legendary wastelanders, proficient mercenaries, and so on for extra organization. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do this. We got enough political power. I'll still be able to change up my economic law once the war begins against the Kaiser, who, by the way, is making no more progress against the NCR. California and, Rep and Texas working together to save democracy in this world. That's what's going to happen. Man alive, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Three more days. Three more days, ladies and gentlemen. Three more days until we get to go and fight against the Kaiser in all his glory. I just don't see a lot of point in forcing all these troops onto one province with a bunch of front lines. You know, it's gonna be super ugly. Slaves escape. We cannot insult them? Are you kidding me? No, we're gonna say freedom is the way. I'm about to go to war. What do you think I care if this guy likes me or not? All right, the war officially begins against Mr. Kaiser. Push! And guess what? He's left himself completely open and vulnerable right over here. Oh, he's calling in some people. These the guys have been spying on me, right over here. Now I know who you are. I don't like you very much. That's fine though. Purple, set up a new front line right here. And go. Okay. 
Who else we got? Uh, orange? Oh, Hente del Sol has been called in, have they? That's cool. Let's go over here and we're gonna start cleaning up these northern borders because I like to remove border gore. So do this. There we go, perfect. Who else we got? Who else we got? Um, you guys, you don't know what to do with yourselves. Uh, well, hey, what? I'm gonna send this group right over here. And you're gonna have, an, it's kind of all messed up. I can barely see what's going on down there. But you guys are gonna start marching down this way, toward Gente del Sol, so I can finish them off nicely. The free fighters, we might actually be able to save them. What the crap is going on over here, by the way? Oh, I didn't even notice. You grew somehow over here. What the heck happened to you? I don't think I really know what happened, but all right, these guys can go ahead and push. Oh, look at that. Look at that, they're ready to go. Yeah, the Kaisar is screwed. Kaisar is super duper screwed. All right. Well, there's a few more things we want to do. Let's go ahead and start justifying some war goals over here. It's going to take 80 days. We want to drag out the war against the Kaisar a little bit. Because so long as I'm fighting a major guy like this, I think it speeds up my war justification of war goals against a lot of other folks. Well, no. It, justify, it helps me justify war goals against people who are in the faction. I'm debating whether I want to go ahead and try to fight down over here. I mean, we could go for a world conquest run at this point. Texas is looking super duper strong. I got a whole bunch more troops still on the way. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> These guys are uber duper screwed. We can absolutely... I mean, with 100,000 manpower, we're looking at an absolute stomp on the world if I wanted to. It's just a matter of waiting for freaking Abbar. And by the way... Oh, we can do this. Good. Okay, I was worried that we weren't going to be able to do our... Um, I was worried we weren't going to be able to do our uh, our economic lot, but we did manage to pull that one off. So there we go. Yeah, all right. Next video is going to be the end. We're going to finish off the Kaiser. I'll try to snag up a bit more land down here. Heck, I wouldn't even mind just saying, screw it, let's go take on the NCR. Yeah, that would be kind of fun, but we'll see what happens. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. All right, let's go ahead and see what it is.